I don't want to be a pest, but I think there could be some money here, Vic. We'll sell it, and that'll be the end of it. I don't have to tell you, the average family, they love each other like crazy. But the minute the parents die... He can't conclude any deal without me, Solomon. I'm half owner here. I've made a deal, and that's it. You know, you sometimes take a tone like I'm some kind of an incompetent. You can't expect him to go into an apology, Vic. He probably sees it all differently anyway. Why can't you take him as he is? Esther, the man hasn't called me in 16 years. What else can I offer you? After all these years, you can't expect to settle everything in one conversation, can you? Believe me, will you? I'm terribly sorry. Not that I don't appreciate it, Walter, but certain things have happened, haven't they? Victor, that was your decision, not mine. Let's get one thing straight, Walter. I am nobody's victim. You can't go on blaming everything on him, on the system, or God knows what else. You're free and you can't make a move, Victor. And that's what's driving me crazy. Take this money. He's got a right to his half. Why should he give up anything? Mr. I pity you. What is the matter with you people? You're worse than my daughter. Nothing in the world you believe. Nothing you respect. How can you live? Just because you want things a certain way, doesn't make them that way. Thank you.